How about an unboxing video for the HasLab Sky Striker? open from this side. Okay, so we have pull, two pull tabs. Lifts out. And top sheet of cardboard with a white backing. There it is. The Sky Striker from Haslabs. Nice. All right, so there's the sticker sheets. The Cobra sticker sheet. See why some guys bought two of these now. One can be Cobra, one can be G.I. Joe. Or, or even three, hold on, we got three sticker sheets. Classic red, white, and blue for all of you fans of France or America. Instructions, good. Sticker sheet. I kind of like the beret and the shotguns, that's nice. Oh, nice, we got the whale. Wolf, all right, cool. Oh man, okay. I need to get an overhead shot of this for you guys. There we've got ripcord, night force ripcord. Very nice. Ace, very nice. Now, this is the one I was very excited for because in the modern, after the 25th anniversary, uh, Scarlet. I really love the pilot Scarlet. She's one of my favorites. So, here we have Scarlet. Awesome. And then, last but not least, Failsafe. Right on. Love the helmet. That's a great look. Cobra ground crew, right on. Nice. Cobra trooper, who doesn't love a trooper? Who doesn't need more troopers? Everybody needs more troopers. Oh, and then last but not least, an unpunched card. Cobra Commander, Coco, nice, the Mickey Mouse, right on. So it turns out these boxes actually come out of the bigger box, they're like little trays, so this one was for the figures, looks like it has the a runway on it, so I'm trying to be very gentle, but I'm very excited too. So the trailer for the armament. Just kind of like that. Perfect. Just like the one on the flag back in the day. Very nice. Just put that somewhere you guys can see it. Oh, fuel cart. Very nice.
This is gonna sound terrible on video. Tape together. Take an overlap. missiles and bombs. I'll open these up. We'll get a better sound later. Alright, the stand. Slots for all the armament. For the dumbbells. Oh, loosens, very nice. Titans, okay. All right, that's pretty cool. Right on. This cardboard. All right, so we got the wings. All right, now we have to cut all this open and take it out. We'll see what's inside. Nice, so what came with it? Uh, black ailerons, very nice. All gray, depending on what you want to match the original or the TV show. Lots of flame effects, seat ejections, thrusters, or sorry, afterburners, the missiles, that's great. All right, nobody came here to see an unboxing video without an unboxing. I never had this as a kid. So this is great. Part on the side. That side, of course, just more pictures of the Sky Striker. Underneath. It's great. Fantastic. Better lay this down. Hmm. So it comes with two canopies. That's kind of cool, actually. Imagine there's going to be sticker options later. Fantastic. So we got the engine inserts that are in there. And then these two. Little boxes, keep it stable. Oh, fantastic. All held in place with string. Hold on. I had to go and grab my original Sky Striker. Uh, friend helped me complete this one. And then uh, got the Pilot Ace from a company called Toy Traders in uh, Langley, British Columbia. If you ever get a chance to go, highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Loving it. Way cleaner, <laughs> obviously. This one's over from, well, 40 years old. Man, so cool. All right, let's get this out of here. I can't believe I missed this the first time around. The bottom of those character boxes, the boxes that came with all the characters, 
actually make up a runway if you flip them over. That's why they have grass details on them. That's actually really cool. Uh, you could lay these out and turn it into a runway for your Sky Striker. That's awesome. And of course, 1983 on the bottom of this one, uh, first year the Sky Striker was available. So if I had room to display it like that, I would. But I don't. I might have to get a new shelf. <laughs> There she is, looks beautiful. Um, fantastic, fantastic. It's got the action for the wings. Oh, okay, all right. We're gonna have to do some comparisons, certainly with the original. Oh man, we got a tow hook for the flag. If the HasLabs ever does a flag again, please do a flag. We're all asking for a flag. I have a spot open for a flag. I'm choosing not to afford one at the collector prices right now. Otherwise, I would get a flag. I had a flag when I collected when I got out of high school, but um, I sold it. <laughs> I sold it actually to get married. So, not a, not a bad thing. Anyway, really cool, really cool. Lots of detail, lots of lines. I'm sure we'll show that in a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I wish I had bought two because I would love to unbox all the figures. And I might, but I would like to keep them carded as well in display because they are, they are a piece of art. It's a good looking thing. Oh well. I am gonna give one criticism here and that is if Hasbro had released this at retail, they could have sold even more because having this unboxed now I would have bought more. I would have bought another one for sure. So I think if they'd done a retail release for this, especially with all these figures and those G.I. Joe ground crew we never got, I, I can't see this being on the shelves at stores. I can't go to a store right now and get G.I. Joe. They're sold out, sold out everywhere. I mean, that's a great problem to have if you're a manufacturer, but as a collector, you know, I can't go out and buy G.I. Joe. I have some uh, classifieds, but I can't get classifieds in my part of Canada. They're just sold out. They sell out too fast. It just, there isn't enough product to meet demand, which is unfortunate. Let's get this plane together. I don't want to break it. So the landing gear, instead of being activated by the wings now, is activated actually by that tow hook at the back. Pull it back and forth to retract and extend the wheels. That is fantastic. That is a lot of fun. All right, let's armor up. That is pretty cool. So this is a nice new feature. Notice this while I was putting it together. Uh, <laughs> you can actually put two missiles. So I put the extra gun pods on there. I'm so used to the 83 version. I'm so nervous to bend and move things just because I don't want to break anything. The seats, they actually have the parachutes. That is awesome because I don't have the parachutes for my original. Uh, not that it really matters, but uh, I do remember as a kid, a friend having one of these and uh, playing with his and throwing the parachutes in the air. That was a lot of fun. It's always fun to make your J.I. Joe's parachute. I did have the parachute pack when I was a kid and uh, grocery bags always worked good back in the day. Throw them up in the air, let your Joe's parachute back to the ground. Man, there we go, that easy, the seats are in. There is a spare canopy. Uh, I don't see a big difference. 
But I mean, just having a backup is nice just in case for some reason you did break one. Maybe you got some young kids still, they play with it, they break it. Yeah, well, that's just, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick some jokes to put in here. I'm still, I'm really torn on opening the carded packs. Yeah. Yeah, if there was a way that those could be shipped, that they just unclipped, and then you could just clip them back together later. <laughs> uh, let's just use some originals. It's my original 83 Ace and 97. I am so torn. There are so many that are cool. And the skull with the shotguns are awesome. Obviously, I have to put the original stickers for the ailerons on. But... <laughs> the Tomcat stickers are great. Anytime, baby. That's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Even the Cobra stickers. Like, Venom and power. It just, just, just a standard just cover sticker is cool. Black and white version of the first one. So here's one final look at the new and the old. So the 83 first, and then the Haslab Sky Striker. They're pretty comparable in size, but uh, it's really nice having the new one. It's clean, it's crisp. It was fun putting the stickers on. I never got to do that as a kid because I never had one. So having one for my very own for the very first time is great.